Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to take screenshots using the Windows Snipping Tool in Windows 7 and Windows 10. So to open the Snipping Tool, you're going to click on the Start menu in Windows 10 and just start typing Snipping Tool. So let's go ahead and do that now. And you'll see it comes up as a desktop app. Now on Windows 7, you're going to have to go to All Programs, go to Accessories, and then click on Snipping Tool. Uh, it's just in a different location. Uh, now once it opens, it's very small and easy to use. All you have to do is click on this little um, new snip down arrow, the you know drop down menu on the right side. Click on that and um, choose rectangular snip. You, you're not going to want to use freeform window or full screen for this because window and full screen are kind of redundant anyway since we have the print screen function on most keyboards uh, or function print screen uh, in some cases on laptops. Uh, but we just want to use a rectangular snip because um, it's most useful in this sense. So let's go ahead and do that and you'll see that the page turns uh, a little bit wider so you can see exactly what you're going to be taking the screenshot of. And um, once we go ahead and do that, once we let go of the mouse, we have a working screenshot. And uh, we can use the pen here to draw on it. We can use red, blue, black, or a custom pen with any type of thickness or um, round or chisel tip. Um, there's also other colors we can choose here um, if we really wanted to. Uh, let's stick with red and we'll leave it as a chisel tip. And as you could sell, you could draw whatever you want. And um, we'll go ahead and delete this and take a new screenshot. But let's take a screenshot that actually be useful. So let's go into Chrome and the screensaver is great. So let's open that up and go to the snipping tool. Now let's say we want to take a snip of this on the right side, uh, the, the stars of the screensavers. And let's copy that. Great, so now we have a useful screenshot. Now what can we do with it? Uh, let's go ahead and go to the highlighter. It's made really nicely. It's with that chisel tip or the rectangular tip again. And you can highlight whatever you want, like Leo Laporte, uh, Kevin Rose, Alex Albrecht, Sarah Lane. These are some of my favorite characters. Patrick Norton's gray, Kate Vitello, like I just highlighted everyone because I love the show. But, you know, that's what I'm trying to show you. But another great thing about it is um, each one of these is in its own layer. It's not like paint, um, how it used to be when you had to, uh, when you erase something, you literally had to scrub through and erase it. Um, and it's not really um, useful in this kind of situation. So each one of these is its own layer. So if I wanted to say, you know what, Patrick Norton, I'm sorry, you have too many shows, I'm jealous of you. And I could unhighlight him and um, remove him from it and um, do the same here. And that's really great because maybe you wanted to change your mind or something you don't have to go back and um, reread the entire paragraph paragraph to find out what's interesting and what's not you can just kind of go through and erase each one individually as you get to it or whatever you want to do um, but uh, let's go ahead and highlight some of these again uh, let's just do that and um, let's go ahead and save now when we save we can save as a PNG a JPEG a GIF and an MHT file MHT files will allow you to kind of keep um, a little bit more of the um, exif data I guess you'd call it. Uh, it saves the URL or address that the snippet was taken on so that you can um, attribute that in the future if, especially if you're um, documenting something. So um, it can be useful to save as, save as an MHT but I usually save as a PNG because that's what you're going to be able to use to share to um, uh, forums or social media or messenger or wherever you plan on sharing this stuff out. So Or even articles. Uh, so once you've um, done that, if you don't want to save it, uh, there's another way to transfer the content I guess you got here and if you just go to the um, copy here and hit copy it copies it to your clipboard and you can even open up um, programs like paint or Photoshop or whatever you happen to be using at the time and even paste it uh, in here to be used and it retains all the formatting it had before you won't be able to deal with the layers anymore but obviously but um, it's a great little tool it's a lot better than having to hit, um, you know, print screen, paste it in paint, do a little cropping and all that stuff beforehand. Um, like the old days, or maybe I was the only one who did that, but uh, that's it for this. It's the snipping tool, available on Windows 7 and Windows 10. Uh, it might be in Vista. I think it's only on Windows 7, though, so don't quote me on that one. Uh, thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for more how-tos and tutorials. Uh, bye.